what's up guys welcome to another fantastic episode on my show Etement with tunes i really want to appreciate you all for your support and your love for my show as well as your contribution it really really means a lot to me like i'm so excited i want to say thank you very much guys keep coming and keep giving me the vibes i love you too baby i am your ever happy and energetic favorite host Tunes to the oldies, I say welcome and to the newbies, hi and hello. This is the platform where I bring to you entertainment vibes from around the globe and of course my top 5 Nigerian music songs on my music library. And of course the game segments which is always fun and always comes with goodies, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, by the way, a viewer won the game of the show last week. A round of applause to April 2525. 25. She got the answer correct in the game. Ladies always intelligent. I'm proud of you girl. Goodies coming your way, baby girl. So guys, you need to buckle up unless the ladies will get it all from you. Mm. A reminder to go subscribe on our YouTube channel, Vapro City Arena. Like, comment, and share. Also, remember to turn the notification button on to receive more of our videos. Now, let's unleash today's menu. Stay with me. Starting with the entertainment gist, you know, over the weeks though, there have been sad happenings, there have been unjust treatments, rape, um, rough handling of human beings, killings, bloodshed. Even during this pandemic, these kind of things are happening to our fellow humans. So we have been busy fighting for justice for this unfortunate incident. So most of my stories today are sad and of course we'll mourn the dead. May their souls rest in perfect peace. In Jesus name, amen. All right, starting with Blackout Tuesday, which held on June 2nd, 2020. Nollywood influencers speak out against gender-based violence with Blackout Tuesday. Film producers, exhibitors, actors have in the last 24 hours taken to their social media handles to speak up against the recent deaths of two Nigerian girls, Tina Ezekwe and Vera Omuzua. May their souls rest in perfect space in Jesus' name. They were beautiful and young. The trending Blackout Tuesday hashtag which gained momentum was created as a Black Lives Matter movement protest following the murder of 46-year-old George Floyd in Minneapolis, United States. So far, Mo Abudu, Paul Appel, Papel, um, Film One Production, Trano Motion Pictures, um, Ram Sinwa, Genevieve Naji, Adesua, Tommy Wellington have joined the increasing list of Nollywood influencers taking advantage of global process. And other sad news from the music industry. Nigerian reggae music icon Majako Dumi Fashake, popularly known as Majak Fashek, has died at the age of 57. Hmm. This is really sad actually. Majak Fashek was a known legend. Fashak was best known for his massive 1988 single, Send Down the Rain, has been plagued by a mysterious illness in recent years. His longtime manager, Zoma Day, announced on Instagram on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. May so rest in perfect peace. He quoted, Today being having pressure calls, well, it is true that the African number one legendary icon has gone to be with the Lord is Maker Day said. Majek started his career in the early 80s with the group Just Takes. Majek went solo and released his debut single, Perina conscience in 1988 it was actually doing well i think i remember that song Ooh, send down the rain is that it not sure the album was released to massive success and had the popular record send down the rain several successes followed until heavy drug and bankruptcy affected his career although he made several comebacks my jack never remained the same he never because for some time i didn't even hear of the name my jack for Shek. i think it was really sick due to the drug you guys take it easy on these things Moving on to a little bit of Las Vegas and Nigeria, another sad story. Twilight actor Gregory Boyce and Nigerian girlfriend died of cocaine overdose. There are reports that Hollywood actor Gregory Boyce and his Nigerian girlfriend Natalia Depojo died from cocaine overdose. You guys, I don't want to get turned, want to get high, want to get happy, we're tired of this situation and everything. Just take it on a low, take it easy, calm down with all these things. According to reports, the couple died from fentanyl and cocaine intoxication. The manner of death was rude and accident. Gregory and Natalie were found dead in Las Vegas condo. Greg's cousin woke up and noticed that Greg's car was still at his house. And of course, he became worried because Greg was supposed to be in LA. So he went on to check on them and found them dead. This is according to reports. Now, boys was 30 and his girlfriend, Adikoju, was 27. These people were young. They wanted to go wild, but they went all the way. You guys should take it easy. Want to go young and wild. Yes, we are tired. Want to get turned. You need to watch out for your life. Checking it out a little bit, we have some spies coming from Whiskey. Whiskey says President Buhari is clueless. My God, see Liva. This guy get Liva. Like, from where to where? Your president. 
of your country. Where them born you? <laughs> you guys, take it easy, man. Nigerian music star Whiskey believes that the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, is clueless on the issues bothering the country. In a series of tweets posted via Twitter on Monday, the music star compared Buhari to his counterparts in the United States, Donald Trump. That Donald Trump on his own is another palaver. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything, but the guy is just, I don't know. So yeah, he quoted, Buhari, Trump, same person, lol. Only difference be say one Sabi used Twitter past the other. Clueless, he tweeted, God save the world, save the people. He's also tired, I understand. But you need to watch your language. These people are the authorities and they can't do anything to you, regardless of if you're a celebrity. Lastly, this is good news to shake all the sad moments coming from Nollywood industry. Let us shake it off, you know. Shake it off, shake it off. Don't be sober. Be stronger. Shit happens. Things happen, we need to come out stronger. Regina Daniels is expecting a first child with hubby Ned Woko. Nigerian Hollywood movie star Regina Daniels is pregnant. The news of the movie star pregnancy was announced via Instagram by her husband, Prince Ned Woko. Congratulations, congratulations. Come oh, on, man, that's more girls. We get belly for an elder. Wow. Well, the politician and a businessman took to his Instagram page where he shared the photo of the pregnant actress. It is now official. I am excited to announce that my baby is having a baby. He captioned the photo. Congratulations to the work was from me. And that's it on the entertainment news segments. Now moving on to the music segment. You need to shake off a little bit. Life happens, but we need to come back stronger. May all of their souls rest in perfect peace. All right, are you ready to get my top five songs of the week? My own, the thing get, it get killed like somehow. But I, I, I want you guys to enjoy it because I love them. I, I just felt like listening to the songs, you know. So get your paper and your barrel to jot things down and take things away. Haha. <laughs> From the bottom to the top. Number five is Gang by Mayo Kun. Number four is Gunch short pff, by Peruzzi and number three is Ozana by Hot King. Oh, no, be no, Ozana, 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 Mama, you get on the blood. I love the song. Number two is True by Mayoko featuring Kiss Daniel. Number one is Aki and Popo, Aki and Popo, Aki and Popo, Aki and Popo, Tho. Hey, Popiri people, all right, Popo, Mote, Popiri people, Mote, Te Popo, Popiri people. That song is stupid. I don't know what it's doing on my number one, but I overplayed it this week and I enjoyed it. All right, Popo by Zlatan. Now, don't get me wrong. These are my most played songs and my own top five songs of the week in my music gallery. These are the songs I kept playing. And of course, they kept coming into my head, especially that number one. I can't pop up, all right, pop up by Zlatan is crazy. Not necessarily the latest song, but my most played song. So for this week, what has been your own top played songs in your gallery? Put down in the comment section. Let me judge your music taste. Jumping into the game segment right now is one of the best things I've done today. Ha ha. Hmm, what game are we playing today? Read my lips. I would say short phrase without voicing it and all you have to do is tell me what I said. Just watch my lips closely and put down what I said in the comment section below. Mm. Watch the lips. <laughs> all right take your time play again if you didn't get it open your eyes and guess the right answer and you might win some goodies so let's go already saw that and let me see the smartest i said it three times the fastest and the correct answer win some goodies from me so, you know, I said it three times and I tried. You might even hear it slightly if you put your ear down. But you need to use your eyes also. You understand what I'm trying to say? We have successfully come to the end of the episode. If you stay to the end with me, you are the real OG. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube channel, Vapido City Arena. Give this video a thumbs up, comment and share if you love me more, baby. This show is proudly sponsored by Vapido City. Let me hear you say Vapido City. So, do how to keep visiting the entertainment website that has a whole package of fun for you, VapidoCity.com. Com. And the good thing is, if you are active and effective, you might one day become the mayor of the city and win a cash prize. What are you waiting for? Run to VapidoCity.com. What did I hear you say? Run to VapidoCity.com. No wasting, no dulling. Entertainment with Tunes show comes up every Saturday, so stay tuned, stay connected. This is your girl Tunes calling from Lagos, Nigeria. Signing out. Peace out.